is your WNEM-TV5 news update. Good morning, everyone. I'm Trevor Sahaki. Here's a look at the top stories we're following today. A Genesee County Sheriff's deputy is returning to court for multiple misdemeanor charges. Demetta Reeves is accused of drunk driving and possessing a firearm after crashing a county vehicle. Reeves was off duty when she crashed a county vehicle in Flint on January, in January on I-75, 475 that is. The on-scene sobriety test came back above a .2, more than two times the legal limit. Her pretrial hearing begins at 9 tomorrow. A traffic headache coming to Saginaw. Beginning tomorrow, city crews are going to shut down a portion of State Street so they can perform utility work. State will remain closed during the week. The affected portion is between Court and Bay, where there are two lanes of eastbound traffic. It closes tomorrow morning at 9 and is expected to reopen Friday afternoon at 4. Today, Little Miss Saginaw County is leading a fundraiser to support community projects. It's at the Don Felipe Mexican Restaurant in Chesaning. That's on West Broad Street. Anyone who wants to support the effort can go to the restaurant between 11.30 and 9. Little Miss Saginaw County, Cadence Haney, plans on using raised funds today to plant fruit trees throughout the city of Chesaning. She also hopes to start a community garden. 10% of the sales will support those projects. And now here's Matthew with a look at your forecast. Thank you, Trevor. Good Sunday morning. We do have a little bit of a milder day ahead with highs into the 40s. However, still expecting a few raindrops later on in the afternoon. That's after more of a wet Saturday evening and overnight that we had. But as far as those high temperatures today, once again, coming into the middle 40s, and we are watching another system too that is off to the west. That'll be bringing us more rain and snow chances as we head into our Monday as well. So again, here's that system on our first one five sky tracker off towards South Dakota that will continue to move off towards the east into the Great Lakes, and then we'll see that rain and snow starting to come in closer to around five to six o'clock tomorrow morning. So again, just a few raindrops for the Sunday afternoon. We're drying the Sunday night. There's that rain and snow coming in, continuing to move off towards the east. It'll be closer to the Tri-Cities and Flint at around eight to nine o'clock on Monday morning, then continuing to move off towards the east, but warming up. So a lot of that transitioning over to rainfall by Monday afternoon. Most of that is rainfall at that point. A few scattered showers Monday evening before things dry out by Monday night. As far as snowfall goes up in our northern half of county snow predictor showing that we could get up to around an inch of snow that's going to be on grassy and elevated surfaces because that snow is going to just really melt on pavement as it falls. But as far as rainfall goes, checking in at around a quarter of an inch could uh, exceed that a little farther if you're in our southern communities, but also a little lower than a quarter of an inch if you're in our farthest northern communities. 70 forecast is dry with highs in the 50s on Tuesday. We continue with 50s Wednesday and Thursday as well, but then tracking more rain chances Wednesday through Friday. We'll Looking like it could be another bit of a prolonged stretch. Remember to tune into WNEM TV 5 on air and online 24 7 for the latest news, weather, and information.